Hey there and welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a fully functional learn dash LMS website using Divi team and the multi LMS child team that I have recently released. So this is how the website is going to look like. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. We have our featured courses categories and then we have our popular courses over here. User can go over here and open up the course that they would like to enroll. See all the details here and then scroll down. We have other content that would be required for a LMS website. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. And multi LMS is built on top of the multi business child team. So you get all the business benefits of the multi with added LMS features as well. So we have like over 30 pages in multi LMS. You can navigate all of them over here. And then we have this crazy beautiful looking drop down. And yeah, that's a quick overview on the multi LMS child team. We also have four course grid designs. Then we have single course pages, two different versions, and then all these amazing learn dash pages. If you click on it, it shows this beautiful looking login pop up and a lot more learn dash features, LMS features that you will love. So you can buy the multi LMS child team from the first link in the description of this video. And uh, yeah, it's 35 for a regular license and 55 for a extended license. Regular license mean you will have to pay yearly to have access to the child team and updates. For the extended license, you will have lifetime access to the child team. And you can also browse all the features of the child team over here. You can also watch this beautiful video that we made and all these amazing features of the multi LMS child team. As you can see, and all these amazing effects and functionalities. All right, so enough talking about the features. Now let's get to, so enough talking. Now let's get to downloading and installing this child team on your website. For that, simply choose the license that you think is right for you. Then click on buy now button. I would recommend going with the extended license that gives you lifetime access to the child team. And let's click on buy now. And then you can go to the checkout and over here you can complete your purchase. You can also enter a very special coupon over here. Simply come over here and click on this gift icon and it will lead you to a page where you will find a sweet little discount code that you can use here for a special discount. All right. After the purchase is complete, you can go to your account and under the downloads, you will be able to download your child team or you can go with our membership now with membership the benefits are crazy you get access to all our epic divi child teams and it only costs 139 for lifetime now you can see all the benefits of membership by simply going over to this page and here if you scroll down as you can see the total value of our products is 386 plus and uh, with membership you only have to pay 139 you save 247 plus dollars now isn't that amazing so you can go with the membership as well and get access to all our crazy dv products multi e-commerce multi and multi lms florence and all the other amazing child teams so i have membership access because i am the admin on the site i will go to the my downloads and click over here to download membership products and here i will have multi lms i can simply click on download and it will be downloaded to my computer now we can go to our wordpress dashboard and start working with the child team all right so i am in my wordpress dashboard and i am assuming that you have learn dash and the learn dash course grid add-on and the dv team installed on your website and yeah and let's just go ahead and install multi lms child team for that simply go to appearance teams and click on this add new button and then click on upload team and then here choose file and simply choose the downloaded file and click on open and install now then you can click on activate button and now the child team multi lms child team is active on our website it will give you this notice to make sure that you have learn dash and learn dash course grid 
add-on installed on your website before you proceed with the demo import so because we have both of them installed and DV team installed as well we can click on hide notice and then go to over here multi lms and here we can import our demo content you can choose if you don't want to import any of these but i would recommend to make sure you import all of this because if you do not if you do not import everything you might see some missing stuff so let's just click on import demo content and it will take a few minutes here probably around two or three minutes to import all the demo content so let's just wait around and i'll see you on the other side all right so the demo content has been imported then you can click on this remove demo content and import functions i'll leave it as it is for now it's a just a it's just a demo website and now if we go and visit our website all right so as you can see this is how our website looks right now totally how it looks in the demo and if you go to home elements home page this is where all your uh, work should be done as you can see everything was imported as it is shown in the demo we have our courses over here you have everything that is shown in the demo so yeah that is how easily you can install and use our multi lms child team so let me show you a few more stuff so we will have to make a few changes in the learn dash settings so that everything works perfectly fine simply go to the learn dash settings over here and here change your accent color and all these colors over here simply add your color i will just add multi lms colors like this then you can enable focus mode and login and registration and then you can select your logo over here as well and let me search for the logo okay here we go let's use this over here this is how it looks then you can go to uh, let me save it go to payments and here you can choose your currency let's use us dollars you can also use paypal and stripe if you have stripe simply click over here and connect it with your stripe account and then payments will be processed through stripe and that is pretty much it for the setup because multi lms did it all for you now let's visit our website and see the course pages so let me just open up any of these course let's go with the course grid version 2 and this is how it looks you can uh, click on filter to filter the courses so let's say i want to learn about design i'll choose that and apply it will show me the course of the design category i can open it up and here i will be able to enroll the course but currently uh, there is no lesson because you will have to do that. Okay, let's go to the dashboard and then go to learn dash courses Then you can edit the course that you would like or you can even create a new one I will quickly show you how you can create a new course with the learn dash LMS Okay, so let's give it a name So after that you can uh, enter your course categories over here let's give it design then you can have course tags and then you can select the featured image let's just select one from here let's go with this one it's just a demo project you can enter your own featured image over here and then you can go to builder and here you can start building your learn dash course okay so to add a lesson you can simply click on new lesson but first let's add a section heading Let's give it in the introduction, add section heading, and then you can start adding your lesson. Give it a title. Something like this, add the license, add the lesson. And then you can click on this edit button and uh, click OK because the changes won't be removed. And here you can add your lesson content. Let me just add in some demo text over here a quick image from the media library and this is our course content you can go to settings and here you can have lesson material 
Now this is the lesson material that is shown under this tab which is usually helpful to show all the resources that a user will need to complete the course or complete the lesson. And then we have video progression, assignment uploads, you can check out all the other options. You can also enable this option to make this lesson a sample lesson so that all the visitors can see this as a sample and learn more about the course before they enroll the course. And then here you can have a short description of this lesson, you can enter whatever you like and then duration and all the other stuff. And once you are done, you can click on update. And then come over here and click on back to lessons. Now if we go to courses and uh, this is the one that we were editing, let's click on edit again. It was saved as draft under the builder. This is our lesson because I think we did not save it. The heading is removed. Let's add the heading again. And move it, move it up and yeah. Now you can add in more lessons, simply click on new lesson, give it a title and then just repeat all that stuff that we did with this one. And once you are done, you can simply click on publish and, and then your course will be live. Let's just see the course on the front end. And as you can see, this is how our course looked like. There's no description over here. Let's just add that real quick. Now you can use DV Builder here or you can go to return to default editor and here you can add your course contents. So I will just add sample content like this and then an image in the end like before. Let's choose this one. It's very tall. Let's go with this one. And now let's update the course. And now it should have all this content as you can see now it looks a lot better and we haven't set the price so yeah let's just edit the course again go to settings in here you can enable it by now free recurring or closed let's set by now and then enter course price it should be 29 and you can also do other settings over here let's add a short description here as well something like this add duration let's say six hours and 13 minutes this will this description and this duration in the main course settings will be displayed on the course card that is on the front end and you can also have custom button text and custom ribbon text over here and you can also enable video preview and check out other stuff over here and let's update it and see it on the front end again and the pricing won't show up here if we open up this page in incognito as you can see now the price shows up over here you can log in and it shows the status over here as well now because we enabled this lesson to be a sample lesson i can view it without having to log in or or do anything as you can see i can view it but other stuff won't be available to a visitor or the people who haven't rolled the course so let's go back and they can click on login and then proceed with the enrollment of the course so yeah that is pretty much it of adding a new course in learn dash lms let's go and see the course grid page and you will see that this course now appears over here and for some reason this this featured image is not here let's fix that as well so let's just edit the course and here let's see if the featured image is set it is not set so let's just quickly add it i'm not sure why it wasn't added before i think i added it i'm not sure kind of forgot anyways it should be added now let's see as you can see now it looks like this well, the image is super tall. You can have a landscape image to match the size of this one. And yeah, that is pretty much it of setting up the Learn Dash LMS to start selling your courses. Now I know that this was pretty fast paced, but don't worry, I'll be coming up with a full two, three hour long video for this child team and i will show you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how you can set up Learn Dash and use multi LMS with DV and start selling your courses like very easily and that should be coming sometime soon and i will also recommend you checking out our multi lms documentation you can go to important settings and here make sure all these are enabled and yeah all these settings are done on your website as well 
and then go to change color scheme and using this guide you can easily change the color scheme of your website well actually let me show you that real quick as well go to the dashboard and go to appearance and customize and let's go to a multi lms lms accent colors and here you can change the accent color of the style let me open up the home page over here and change it to something like green as you can see all these colors are changed to green well some of these icons are png and all the illustrations are png as well so their colors won't be changed but this option will change most of the colors that are changeable and that are changeable with css and some of them you can change by enabling visual builder on the page and easily change them from within the module settings and yeah as you can see it has changed it for the most parts look at this one over here so yeah you can easily change the color scheme like that as well and i will also recommend you checking out team customization here you will also find some more useful guides on how you can customize multi lms to make the multi lms child theme your very your very own and i guess that is pretty much it that's how easy it is to create and sell your courses with learn dash and using multi lms child team for divi now make sure to go through the first link in the description of this video to get to the page and uh, purchase the multi lms child team for your next course website and uh, that's pretty much it and i will see you in my next video till then have a great day and peace out